see-through blouse. So it's a blind date. I don't know if I want this guy to see me in my underwear right away. So don't wear any. Whoa, look at you. I love your hair. I had it blown dry, 40 bucks. It better not frizz in the rain. Look at that dress. It's amazing. Who knew you had cleavage? Did I ever do it? Depends where he's taking you. The Cirque. He is spending that kind of money on a woman he's never met. You owe him the see-through blouse. Oh, I just want to be appropriate. I mean, the guy works at Sotheby's. I don't want him to be disappointed. You are really excited about this, huh? I don't want to be, but I can't help myself. I mean, he just sounded so great on the phone. I know that they all sound great on the phone, but A, not only does he practically live around the corner, which means no endless negotiating about who has the schlep across town, but he's funny, and he reads, and not just the newspaper fiction. And he listens. The other day, I was telling him this story about how I had this really bad day at work, and instead of him saying, yeah, I know what you mean, and telling me you've got a really bad day that he had, he goes, oh, you know, like you would. <laughs> hey, are you uh, sure he's not gay? Oh, I'm positive. The girl that set us up slept with him once. And if he's so great, why isn't she still with him? Because she realized she's gay. No, not from him. It had been coming for a while. OK, I got this from my secret Santa. Do I smell like a desirable woman? I don't know. You have to ask your friend. OK, he's going to be here any minute. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually nervous. Where's my purse? Purse? Oh, here. Oh, great. Thanks. Listen, um, could you do me a favor? Anything. Could you leave? Call and tell me everything. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, I understand. I mean, if you're not feeling well. Although, I never catch anything, if that makes a difference. <laughs> sure, that's probably the best. Hey, listen, it happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look forward to that. Okay. Feel better. <laughs> Bastard! Lying, stinking, fiction-looking pony! I'm never getting excited again. Sorry. tips. That means you work for me. Now go and get my vodka. <sighs> Having a bad day? Yeah. Am I that transparent? Boo-hoo, big man. Make it all better. Hey, I was just trying to make conversation. Watching a woman soaked and sucking vodka from a straw? Well, when you add the running mascara and the slurpy noise, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> wow, almost made you laugh. No, you didn't. I was almost laughing at something I heard the other day. Oh, yeah? So what is it? I, I like to laugh. In the middle of the night, this man thought that he was drinking water but he accidentally drank battery acid and died. That is funny. 
That reminds me of this funny story I heard about this woman who found her husband in bed with another woman and shot herself. <laughs> oh, he laughs. The little golden boy with his Italian loafers and his cashmere sweater. I bet his name is Brent or Brandon. His mother drinks too much and flirts with him like he's her boyfriend. Nobody will ever look at him the way mommy does. And he hates himself for wanting her. And he hates all women for not being her. Ring a bell? She became silently enraged the day she realized that she'd be judged by her looks for the rest of her life. Didn't matter that she was smart, did it? Boys don't care about that. Boys want long legs and smooth hair and big, round eyes. She wants love so bad. Why isn't a great brain and a mediocre personality enough? You want to know why you're all so threatened? Because we literally don't need you anymore. We can go to the sperm bank and impregnate ourselves. We can make our own money. And I haven't met a man yet with the uncomplaining fortitude of my favorite appliance. Face it, you're obsolete, the whole lot of you. Yeah, but who's gonna put their arms around you when you've had a bad day? Like today. I was just going to make a phone call. Oh. Actually, I was going to cancel this dinner reservation I had. But, um... No, forget it. What? I just thought that, that maybe you might want to join me. Oh, sure, I'm dressed for it. How about a nice seafood restaurant where you die for your dinner? You're right. Stupid idea. What was the reservation? Le Cirque. The truth is, I, I was supposed to be on this blind date, but at the last minute I crapped out. How come? I just couldn't spend another night trying to impress somebody, and, and her trying to impress me, and neither one of us being honest. But with you, I mean, we have been honest. Besides, it kind of takes pressure off when a woman looks like she's been through a car wash on a roller coaster. <laughs> so you want to have some dinner or what? 